Yo guys, it's TG Tracks, and today I'm going to be using the Triton VST. This VST is severely underrated. It's one of my favorite VSTs to use. It has a lot of sounds you can use, and yeah, you can just do a lot with it. So the first thing I want to do is, I already got the sound loaded. I've got um, a water piano, that's what it's called. But um, yeah, I just want to show you actually how to maneuver around the VST. So you got your keyboards, you got your organs, your bells, your strings, everything that you need in a beat in terms of a melody, it's all right here. So yeah, that's all I've got there. I'm gonna go to the keyboard, try a couple sounds, and we'll make a melody from there. So I'm just gonna go with the normal classic piano, nine two major, and then after I've made the melody, I'll go ahead and change the sound again to then make the sound even better. So yeah, let's make some chords. Make some chords right now. Yeah, I like how this is going already, so yeah, let's continue. Made that one higher. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do with these these notes now is I'm gonna do control A to highlight everything and then do OR to randomize the volume. You can also randomize the, the panning, everything that you need to pad, um to randomize you can do here. So in terms of panning, I'm just gonna leave that. But with volume, I'm going to make sure that it's not all the same volume. And the reason why I want to do that is because if it's all the same volume, the melody is going to sound robotic and you can tell it's a fake sound. You want it to sound realistic if the real realistic sound is what you're going for. So, yeah. In terms of this beat, I'm just going to highlight all of the chords. Do Alt S to strum and sound like this. Another thing that you can do to make sure it sounds realistic is you can just highlight all of these little notes and you can just move them off grid very slightly. So the way you move it off grid, I'm going to zoom in just so you know exactly what I'm doing. So if you go to these notes, you can see it's not completely on grid. And the, the way you do that, you just do Alt and you can do left or right to just move it off grid slightly. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to do Control B to just paste it to the other side. Oh, L just so it doesn't go to the next bit here. I'm just going to make it a bit shorter. Another thing you can do is when you do OA, um, you actually need to make sure it's not all the way up here because then it sounds like you're just pressing piano keys hard in it so what you want to do you want to just get the multiplier knob and then turn it down this way it will sound more realistic instantly you can tell it's more subtle and the reason why i wanted to sound like that is so that it sits in the beat properly when you're mixing it so yeah and then just turn up the volume I can turn up my bus
Another thing you want to do is go to parametric EQ2 or any kind of EQ and just cut out the base sub frequencies to cut out the muddiness from the low end of the piano. Then you want to go to reverb 2 and you want to play around with the rim size. So this is what I want to do for reverb. Change the rim size simply just by using this knob or you can click on actual thing itself. Move it, turn your mouse left or right to turn the dimensions of it. This actually changes how the sound bounces. It's, this basically is replicating a room. So imagine your piano is sitting right in the middle of this room and you got all of these corners. Now, depending on how the dimensions are of the room will determine how you hear the reverb. So if I put it like this, the sound's bouncing equally from all sides because all sides are equal. So it will sound a bit smoother. Whereas if it was something like this, like a triangle, you will hear it bounce back to your ears differently. So I'm gonna change the dimensions, but I'm not gonna change the side. If you listen closely, you can hear when it's a triangle, you can actually hear the sound kind of delay a little bit. But when it's a full circle, it's a bit smoother. Depends how you want to mix your beats. I just like to make sure that the reverb is bouncing equally on all sides in it. So that's what I'm doing for my reverb in it. And you can also do delay too as well. So now it sounds like a proper melody. Sound like a proper melody now. But yeah, um, now we can go back into Triton and we can now look at, at different sounds that we can use. I already like the classic piano, but I just want to show you the other sounds that Triton um, has. So yeah. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to just stick with the keyboard Actually, no, I want to show you different sounds because you all heard keyboards before. So I want to show you like the choirs, choirs and strings and all that stuff. So yeah, let's go with, with the vocals. And that's just giving me an idea. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this try and bit, do Alt-C to clone it and just copy and paste this melody put onto the arcade thing here which is number 17 let's see i'm actually gonna put half time on it as well just so it kind of acts as a counter melody so let's go to half time so let's mute this so I'll turn this up Now that it's half time on it, I have to cut the lower frequencies just so it's clean. Now I'm going to change that first sound just so they're both not overbearing. And that's the thing with of making hard beats beats that artists actually want to use do not use so many sounds or do not over mix your beats or under mix them of course you just have to make sure everything's right make sure there's enough space in your beats make sure that you're using the right sounds as well sound selection is so important like it's probably top three most important things in terms of making beats so yeah So yeah, so that's how you just make uh, draw melodies. Quite simple, 
with the pianos the choirs your usual draw sounds but yeah i just wanted to make a tutorial on how to use chatting and picking the right sounds and yeah that's how you really make them kind of sounds that you would hear on uk draw so yeah if you like this tutorial like the tutorial go to the comment section down below and tell me what you want next and um go to the description if you want drum kits as well i've got my rise drum kit my anarchy drum kit all the draw drum kits that you need trap drum kits everything there just go to the description and you will see those sounds that you need so yeah subscribe to the channel and i'll be back with another one